Hello guys and welcome to another profile tree video. So today we're going to be covering how to edit a Shopify website. So without further ado, we're going to go ahead and get started. So of course the question then lies, can I customize the website? Yes, Shopify is based off themes as well. So if you're shopping for a Shopify theme, be it something for free or something that you pay for, Evaluate each one for its images and how it's been laid out in terms of fonts and colors. Now, the great thing about working with a theme is that there is a lot of that structural design decision that's made for you. So you don't need to worry about how to lay out your pages or where to put each paragraph within a website builder since everything's already been done for you. Now, Depending how you want to create or customize your website, you can do it yourself or hire a developer or a professional developer to do your website. Now the Shopify Experts Marketplace helps you connect with an experienced web developer that you can hire for guidance. So that's one of the few ways, of course, that you can go ahead and shop for some themes and look for free or paid for themes and work from there. So how would I go about creating a website. So first of all, you want to get your base. So make sure you get organized, have a wireframe, sketch or plan a setup uh, for what you want your site to have. Now it could be images, it could be video categories, maybe you might need a contact page, about us page or menu page. Once you've mapped things out for your site, you'll make quick progress of the general structure for your website. Now choose a website template, pick a theme to get started. So as I've said there's a free theme that you can use or a paid for theme. We'll go ahead and have a look at that later on in the video. Uh, these themes are customizable so you don't have to stick with the current designs. And then your third uh, part of building a website is you then customize the site. So in the editor, you can customize and modify the themes to however you want. Add contents, products, business information, and even customize the site design with colors, fonts, and layouts. Then of course you want to choose your domain. So this would be if you don't already have a domain, then you want to make sure that you pick one for your site. And of course, if you already do, make sure it's pointed to the correct name server or have the right A records, C name records, anything like that. Uh, of course, it's very, very important to have a domain name. You want to make sure the visitors can easily identify your business from your own uh, site's online address. So just take it for us, for example, since we have our own domain, which is profiletree.com. This sort of URL is more recognizable towards uh, uh, any visitors, of course, if they search it up and that's their way to find us. Now, uh, the fifth uh, point there is optimize your website for search engines. So, of course, once you have a plan that's set in place, uh, you can use the premium SEO optimizer. So SEO, for those who don't know, is search engine optimization. And to ensure your site can be found easily on the search engines like Google or Bing. Then lastly, you want to make sure you launch your website. So that's the final step. Just get your site published and watch the business grow. Make sure that you do look over the site once it's live. Ensure that there's no issues by managing it, updating it, checking for reviews and being active on social media. And make sure that uh, all the links work. You want to make sure all your hyperlinks work. Also ensure that there's no any uh, no issues when it comes to the different mo mobile or different devices that you use, be it like tablet devices or mobile devices. You want to make sure everything's optimized, no issues, and of course you can't see all the underlying issues if you're coding and uh, making building the website using the desktop. So you want to make make sure and double check everything. So that's pretty much some of the basis for how to build a website. Now we want to find out how do we actually edit the site out. So there are a few steps. As I've said, you can go ahead and choose the paid for themes, or you can go ahead and select some of the free ones. 
So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and go on to the Shopify website and check out some of the themes available. And then we'll jump into editing that theme and I'll show you guys around the dashboard and some of the features that you can add onto your website to boost ranking and traffic. So these are actually some of the themes that are on Shopify at the moment. So as you can see, there are some free and paid for themes and feel free to have a look uh, through the actual uh, section. Of course, these are created by other people and not just Shopify themselves. And you also have the option to choose what industry you're in. So be it with clothing, electronics, food and drink, hardware and automotive. Of course, if I do select hardware and automotive, hopefully we'll get a theme. So as you can see, there's a couple of different themes available there. And with the ones that are paid for, you can see that they have more features on like the free ones. So this one has color swatches, stock counter, in menu promos, mega menu, sticky header, uh, this one has EU translations, store locator, color swatches, quick view, count, uh, stock counter. And this one has Empire. Uh, the Empire uh, one has EU translations. So pretty much the same as this one with an age verifier. Of course, with the tools, you want to make sure that they have or they're the right age with buying the tools. <clears throat> so uh, if you do look at the free one compared to this, so we'll go ahead and select the ones for free. So it doesn't have as many features. These are actually created by Shopify themselves. So it's not that uh, Shopify don't have the best themes. They do have good themes. Now, these are some of the default themes that you would use uh, when you're editing your actual site, uh, as you can see with the Empire one. Uh, it all depends really on and solely on the actual reviews. So as you can see, Pine Street Clinic is the one using this and Pixel Union is the one that's created this and they do have different uh, presets so there's a graphic one they've got industrial so a lot of different uh, choices for 340 US dollars so now that we've uh, viewed the themes so by all means feel free to go ahead and check out the different themes what I want to jump into is actually editing and modifying the actual site. So we'll go ahead and jump into that. So initially this is your dashboard for when you're modifying and creating your website. Now, of course, when you go through the setup and you've named your website, you do get a three free day trial. And as you can see, this one ends on the 14th of April and it's one pound per month after that for the first three months, which is great. Now, you can see here that our first theme there is the Dawn one. And if I actually go back to the paid or the free uh, themes, we can go ahead and check out what the Dawn one looks like. So this is how the actual theme looks. And uh, we can actually view the demo store, which we'll do now. So that's how it looks. That's the layout. Uh, once everything's been put into the actual store itself, as you can see, this is how it looks with the default. So all we, we would need to do is just select customize there. So that's how it looks, as you can see, very, very similar to the actual design that they have here. And you could just work with the design. So in order to get to the customizing part, all you would need to do is go to the, so we'll just go to home. Uh, this is the page that you'll see at the start. All you need to do is customize your online store, select the customized theme, and you'll be able to choose and pick the theme that you want. Now, of course, there are other themes out there. If I wanted to choose ride, I can go ahead and select ride. And I can proceed to change this theme. And if you are wanting to customize it, so it's very easy. So they've got their header here. You can add an, announce, an announcement if you want to. So there, as you can see, there's two announcements. 
I can go ahead and delete that off if I wanted to, like so. Uh, of course, we can add sections to the header as well and add blocks. I can remove that as well. As you can see, there's ways for you to add blocks here. If I can just get it up. So I can add a section to the template. I can add a banner, slideshow, multi-row, email, a page, a featured collection if I wanted. Just like that, I can X that off. Okay, and just delete that. So it's very easy to manage and change the overall appearance of the actual website. Now, of course, I could change that so that it's got a small heading and that'll change it so that it's smaller. Change it to medium if I wanted to. I can hide and remove the heading. As you can see, it's got, got it in layers within your left side. If I wanted to hide the announcement bar, I can do so. If I wanted to hide the header, I can do so as well. I can move my sections about. So I can have my announcement bar at the bottom or have it at the top. Now that's the header. So it's uh, primarily just around this area and I can't change any more to it. Now with the template itself, which is this part, I can then change the image banner about. As you can see, we've got the image banner and a featured collection. Inside the image banner, uh, I can, as you can see, there is a, an area for our text and button. Now I can also change the images out as well. I line it to the center. I can align it to, so just say if I wanted to, I can align that to the left for the button or align that to the right or keep it center. A couple of different options there. I can add italics as well. So there's just a couple of options. Now with the footer, this is where I can start adding areas as well. And you can see that there's apps. So the apps are pretty much just embeds. So we can go ahead and view some of the apps that they have. So this is a Shopify app store. I can add reviews onto this. I can have SEO, uh, FAQs. So if I want an FAQ, I can go ahead and search up for an FAQ. Just click on the one that I like and pretty much just add it on. So that's how the FAQ works for this one. So there's a lot of different things that you can add in terms of customizability and create very, very beautiful websites using the Shopify e-commerce website. And as you can see, there's theme settings as well. So this is where I can customize most and majority of my area and add some custom CSS for the website as well. So there's, as I said, endless possibilities in order to create the website that you want. And of course, once you're done with creating your website, proceed to home and then finish off the rest of the setup guide. And then you would be able to just do the SEO, just make sure um, you have the ranking, the traffic as well, and then you would publish. And of course, uh, you're able to check out some of the plans. Of course, these are some of the plans that they have. So with the basic Shopify and advanced, uh, 19 pound, 49 pound and 259. So just make sure you choose which one you would uh, be more suited to in terms of the features. Uh, but yeah, that, that's just a quick and little simple uh, overview on how you would edit a Shopify website and just a little bit of background on the themes as well. Uh, if you guys have any questions at all regarding the video, please do let me know in the comment section below. But other than that, I'll see you guys for the next video. Thank you very much.